I know what you're thinking when you hear Oklahoma. Tornadoes, cowboys, cows roaming the street, and well, grass. But I'm here to show you there is so much more to Oklahoma. We have a bustling nightlife scene, thriving businesses, and much, much more. This is Everything Oklahoma. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see more content about the great state of Oklahoma. But enough talking, let's get right into it. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So if you've been following the channel, you know that we have been um, creating a series on our channel to let other people know what a certain amount gets you in Oklahoma as far as housing that is. So the last video we focused on Oklahoma City. This week we will be heading to Tulsa, Oklahoma. So this video is going to be all about what type of house you can get in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Forget this, $100,000 you guys. We need to know what we can get for $100,000. You want to see, just keep watching. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get the video kicked off with house number one. House number one is going to be located on South Peoria Avenue. It is an apartment, however they are selling it as a condo. Two bed, two bath, a little over a thousand square feet. Um, coming in at a price point of 32000 I love how they take these apartment buildings, break them up, sell them individually, and call them condos. Like, I don't know why. I just think that's so funny. So anyway, that was a little map of where it was. Like I said, two bath, two bed. Um, one bedroom is a loft. Now, this one is sold as is. Honestly, that scares me a little bit because you never know what you are going to get if you buy something as is. So I would at least have an inspector come and make sure that whatever you're investing your money into is going to be A-OK. -okay. Looking at some pictures, it's not horrible. I've definitely seen worse. Now this is the cheapest residence for sale in Tulsa right now. There are some cheaper properties, but they're actually just pieces of land, no buildings on it. So this is basically your standard one bed, one bath apartment with a loft. Just think of that. But you are only paying 32,000, so if you wanted to invest in it and even use it for like an Airbnb, definitely something to consider. Like I said, doesn't look horrible. Okay guys, house number two, three bed, one bath, 864 square feet, coming in at about 38,000. This home is going to be located on North Evanston Avenue. Remember when you're in Tulsa? Um, I don't believe in good or bad areas, but from what you will hear the most, stay away from North Tulsa, even though I go to Tulsa every weekend. I've been in North Tulsa and I've seen some beautiful properties over there. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, this house honestly had me worried a bit. But for 38000 you know, it is what it is. So, basically, they are saying it's a HUD house. However, it may not pass inspections for some of the plumbing issues going on. So, like I said, that's a little scary. That's almost the same as buying a house as is. But once again, if you have a budget of moving to Oklahoma for $100,000, and you're only spending 38,000 to buy the house, you can easily put another 20, 25,000 into your home to make it everything you want. Another tip, if you have a three bed, one bath, you can easily take that third bedroom, if you're not gonna use it, divide it up in half, make like a, another restroom on one side, and then maybe like a small study or just maybe a tricked out closet with the other half. There's so many ideas you can do. This house definitely needs some TLC, but I think it would be a great investment property or it would be a great starter home if you're just moving to Oklahoma, just kinda wanna get somewhere until you're able to save up and buy something bigger or better. So I wanted to switch it up for house number three. We're gonna look at something towards the very top of our budget. At $100,000, this is a two bed, one bath, 899 square foot home located on Madison Place. Now this is actually a condo, even though it looks like a full house, but it still has a lot of potential. 
two bedrooms, um, one bathroom, almost 900 square feet. It's in a beautiful neighborhood and I don't know, actually once I scroll down, you will see that this home is actually in a gated neighborhood. So that automatically, that that's just my love language. Listen, bougie things are my love language. <laughs> So I absolutely love the fact that this home is located in a gated area, mature trees, a nice, quiet neighborhood. This could definitely be a contender. And even though this home is at the top of our budget, still $100,000 is not a lot of money as it relates to basically like buying a house, you know what I mean? In some cities, you could barely get a tent or a teepee for $100,000. So to be able to get a full, nice like condo, I still think we're winning here. And it's turnkey ready. Okay guys, so glad that you all are still here. Just a quick reminder, definitely subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate it. Look at us already at house number four. So sticking with the theme of $100,000, because I'm feeling like a baller today, we're gonna move to this property on East 38th Street. Three bed, two bath, 1,600 square feet. This is one of the biggest homes that we have seen and I think it has a ton of potential. Like if I were moving to the Tulsa area, I would definitely <laughs> be thinking about purchasing this property. Three beds, two baths. So you have a lot of room right there, almost 1,600, I'm sorry, over 1,600 square feet. Think of the white brick, just paint it um, like a white. Then some of the siding, paint it black. You can super modernize this house. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Forget an investment property. This is something for you to live in. It's been updated um, quite a bit inside. Granite countertops. It's in a really nice neighborhood. It's in a great location because it's right off of the Broken Arrow, I think, expressway. So listen, this is... Oh my God, this house is perfect. I absolutely love this house, if you can't tell. If you're in Tulsa, if you're in Jinx, if you're in, what else is out there? Broken Arrow, um, any of those places, Sepulpa, if you're looking for a house, definitely go look up this house. This could be your dream home and you're only spending 100,000 for it. All right, guys, we hope that you have enjoyed this crazy random video about crazy random things going on in the Oklahoma area. If you have, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We are definitely trying to grow this channel so we can share not only with our fellow Oklahomies, but with people all over the country about the good and the bad and sometimes crazy about Oklahoma. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We will see you in the next video. Don't forget to comment down below any video ideas you have. See you later, I'm out.